I'm Tom Johnson of Thomas Johnson Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. This is a nice old 19th century chest of drawers. Uh, it's probably it's made of birch, I think, stained like walnut. We're just going to clean it up and polish it, but the problem that it has is that the owner complains about the odor of the drawers. They smell sort of like a combination of mold and maybe kind of like a old pipe tobacco or something. So what I'm going to do is clean all the surfaces, inside and out, bottoms of the drawers, backs. I'm going to clean with a bleach solution, maybe 10% bleach and water. Also clean the entire interior of the cabinet. And then I'll treat it with some deodorizer, and I think I'll then shellac the drawers, and we'll see if that takes care of the problem. So I have a solution of water, water, 10% bleach. And I'm going to scrub every surface. I want to be sure that I do the backs of the drawers, the bottoms of the drawers. I want to hit every surface. It's a nice sunny day out here, so we're going to let everything dry outside. I turn the cabinet over. I want to make sure I get every surface. I'm not going to remove the back, but I'll turn it on its back. I'll turn it every way. I want to clean these surfaces in this horizontal position. I want to make sure I get into every little corner, even doing the bottom here. It's important to turn the piece upside down to do the bottom. And in fact, it's interesting here, you can really see a lot of mildew. Okay, I let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to apply uh, an odor remover. We get this at the pet store. It's uh, according to the label bioenzymatic. In other words, the uh, enzymes attack the actual physical molecules that cause the odor. And I'm going to spray everything. And spray it down and let it dry. You want to be sure to hit, just like with the bleach solution, you want to hit every surface. Now I'm going to spray the front of this drawer too, but I'm not going to let it soak. I'm going to wipe that off immediately, sort of gently. Maybe I'll be able to leave a little on there. But I also assume that the smell is coming from the inside. Now just like with bleach solution, you want to turn this case different ways to make sure that you can get down wherever that smell is. Now, one thing I just realized is these uh, rails that go across the front that divide the drawers, I'm not getting the back side of those. So when I stand this up, I gotta make sure I get in there, get the the back side. I want to get every surface. And see by turning it over I see these boards too. See I didn't get the back of these. So that's why it's important to really rotate the piece of furniture around. Make sure you get everything. Okay we've let the uh, odor remover dry. I still think that I can faintly smell in these drawers that kind of tobacco-y smell. Not the musty smell but the tobacco smell. I happen to own an a ion generator that's designed to uh, also get rid of odors at the molecular level. So I'm going to put this overnight. I'm going to, I've stacked all the drawers around the piece. I'm going to cover it in plastic and turn on this ion generator and leave it for the night. doesn't smell bad in here. I'm getting ready to sand this drawer uh, a little bit prior to shellacking, but I noticed it's a little loose, so I'm going to re-glue it. When I took this drawer apart, I noticed that down here in the dado where the drawer bottom goes, there's a lot of mold and blackness that maybe we didn't get to when I was washing it down, so I'm going to wash this dado out. And, uh, and the same on the drawers here, and then this, this part around the bottom that maybe our solution didn't really get to. So I'm going to use a scrubby pad and get right down into that dado 
yeah, a lot of that blackness is disappearing. In addition to re-gluing the drawers, I decided I better take the back off. I had been resisting wanting to do that, but I decided I better clean all these areas, this rabbit right here, uh, and then all the areas of the back that I really wasn't getting because they're, they're covered up. All that just so I could get to this area here. So now I'm going to go over the uh, interior of the drawer, the exterior, and the bottom with some 150 paper and give it a coat of shellac. In other words, everything but the face of the drawer. to do the insides of the backs and then uh, after I assemble the back I'll do the outside of the back. Now I'm going to shellac the inside of the cabinet but I'm going to start by turning it over to do the bottom of the top and also the bottom of the bottom such as it is. Okay, everything's got two coats of shellac inside now, so now I'll reinstall the back. I'm going to install the middle section first because this is the drawer runner for the two small drawers on top and I've got to make sure it lines up exactly where it's supposed to. nice old cabinet. Uh, the problem was is that it had a very uh, offensive odor to it. Uh, when you open the drawers it smelled like mold and what I describe as pipe tobacco but it wasn't a very good smell. Uh, so I took it apart, took the back off, I took the drawers apart, cleaned them with bleach, re-glued them, then uh, I also treated it with a bioenzymatic treatment from the pet store and when that dried I shellacked everything and, uh, and put it all back together and now I don't seem to detect the smell at all I just put the drawers in a little while ago uh, won't really know for sure till it, it sits for a while and then open it up. But I feel pretty confident that it worked. So I just put it all back together, polished it up. It looks pretty good. <laughs> 